Hello dear patients, today we are going to review the case of Gardnerella in men that is presented on the picture. A man came to us, complaining on each and discharges from penis. On PCR-15 examination, Gardnerella was found. He went to other specialists, but only tablets were prescribed to him. I call such doctors pill-prescribing doctors. What tablets were prescribed to him? He had metronidazole and ornitazole tablets prescribed. This was done for five days for each type of tablets. In two, three weeks time, control analysis was done both times, and both times control analysis for Gardnerella was positive in the absence of any sexual life, anal, oral, particularly vaginal contacts. There were no sexual contacts with or without a condom. On observation it was found out that the young man has discharges, they were taken for smear for flora and about 25 leukocytes were found, which indicates a subacute urethritis, inflammation of urethra. Also ultrasound study of prostate and testicles was done. Fortunately no signs of inflammation were found there. Also analysis for bacteria were also taken and as a result of that coliform bacteria was found in urethra. So there was an association of Gardnerella and coliform bacteria. A classic course of treatment was prescribed for the patient with installations, with injection of enzymes like Longidaza, with immune medications. In parallel with intravenous as well as tablet administration of Metragil and its analogues in tablets, antibiotic was prescribed according to sensitivity of found flora. This was quite important and as Gardnerella and infections similar to it go in parallel with usual bacteria that are not treated. We already noted that in such combination they are often not treated successfully by such pill-preferring doctors. So in 10 days the course of treatment was finished and control analysis was taken in 3 weeks. In it leukocytes decreased to 3,5 and no Gardnerella or bacteria were found. In the end I'd like to say that not only me but other doctors who deal with such problems note a decrease of sensitivity of bacteria and such diseases as Gardnerella to classic medications that worked before. Unfortunately, today the approach of pill-preferring doctors doesn't work. I'd say that percentage gets close to 50% even during such seemingly easy infection as Gardnerella. I talked to many gynecologists and they also know such deformation of diseases like Gardnerella in women. Gynecologists noted that even earlier than venerologists who usually work with men. So during self-treatment of such seemingly easy infections, particularly by the internet, you can get chronization and inefficiency of treatment. Of course, it's better to consult doctors who treat such diseases. If it is necessary to diagnose and treat sexually transmitted infections, inflammation of genital urinary organs, you can consult venerologists and gynecologists of our paid medical center of Dermatovenerologic Dispensary in Moscow. We have experienced specialists who do diagnostics and treatment of sexually transmitted infections. We are waiting for you in our clinic. Please subscribe to our channels on YouTube and Instagram. Thank you for your attention.